Hey everyone, Mike at Northwest Bus Sales here. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at this 2008 IC FE300 school bus. This thing is really sweet. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at it. We got Jackie behind the camera again today. Um, so, just starting out, overall appearance of the bus, uh, first thing you'll notice, it's just kind of the rare, uh, shorter length, full-size school buses. So they're they're pretty rare. We're pretty excited to have this one here. Um, it's been repainted recently, so the paint is in excellent shape. It basically looks like a brand new bus. Um, yeah, let's uh, go inside first and check it out. Come on up. The first thing we'll notice is the, the uh, step treads are in good shape. Solid. It's got a radio, which is playing right now. Well, I'll sit behind the wheel here, the seat. Uh, I believe, Jack, you we were saying the seat's been recently recovered. Yeah. Well, brand new seat. Brand new seat in this thing. Um, let's see, it's power adjust. The seat adjustments down there. Okay, so going along, the start off on the left side here. Jack, will give you a good uh, pan of the switches. Well, really, a few exciting things to point out here. First, uh, this has power mirrors. And they work, which is a really sweet feature to have. You're not always having to get out and adjust mirrors and get behind the driver's seat. There you go, yeah, you can see the lower one mirror moving. Um, really neat. Uh, we got your uh, rear heat buttons, or rear heat uh, control buttons there. Entry door switch there. Uh, let's see, we have the the flashers. Now, one really neat feature about this bus here is it has AC, which is pretty rare for a Washington bus. So, I mean, we, and the AC is is working. Uh, I'm not sure if you can pick it up in the camera or not, but I flipped it on. The high idle kicked in. Uh, this does have a, a CD player, a radio, and it also has a, if I can even get it, there we go, has a interior uh, PA system. Check, check. Pretty cool. It has an exterior function. I'm not sure if that actually works right now, but if it is something you need to have working, just let us know and we can, we can take care of that for you. Uh, dome light switches. Uh, heated mirrors as well, so power and heated mirrors. This thing's kind of top of the line. It's, it's pretty nice. Uh, moving on through the dashboard, you got trans temp, water, engine water, oil pressure. Oil pressure is looking great. Um, you know, standard RPM, mile per hour. This bus does only have, uh, let's see, is that mileage right? Do we know? Pretty sure. We'll check into that mileage. Uh, it's, let's see. Oh, I'm sorry, I was looking at the hours. Uh, yeah, 160,030 miles. Uh, yeah, that was my bad, looking at the hour meter on there. Um, yeah, rest of the normal gauges, fuel, alternator, air pressure, uh, transmission shifter, HVA, or ventilation switches, the dash here. Um, what else can I point at you? Uh, the, it's got telescoping and tilt steering wheel. Uh, really nice driver's seat too, really comfortable. It's got a nice little angle to it. You know, a lot of school buses have you sitting straight up. This actually has a nice nice uh, angle to it. Uh, it is a front engine bus, as we can tell. It actually has a DT-466 inline six in it. Kind of a rare option. This one here, there. You can get a lot of different uh, power uh, ratings on these engines. This one here is, uh, is a bit detuned. It looks like it's 210 horse. Um, so a lot of life in these motors, especially if they're only making 210 horsepower. But this being a shorter bus, it's got plenty of power. So we'll move on down to the back of the bus here. A couple things to point out. So first, uh, it does have a little bit of wear and tear on the 
these front two stanchions here people grabbing onto those as they climb into the bus um, first two seats uh, ICS seats integrated child what does that stand for again Jackie? Integrated child safety seat. Integrated child safety seat. So that's on the first two rows of this bus. Here we got one of your AC units. Other than that, the seats are in pretty nice shape. A little bit of wear and tear, but not too bad at all. Floor solid. On this seat here, we got a little hole, little hole in it. Uh, let's see. Pretty nice. And a couple of little small stains here and there. A couple of couple of little bit of wear items, but really it's actually in really nice shape. Uh, we have the rear AC right here. Got a little seat back here. A little bit of wear and tear on that seat maybe. Jack, if you want to take a look, take a look down on there. One thing to point out too is I'm 6'4", and this bus here, I've got a little bit of headroom still. So this is probably at least a 6'5", six, 6'6", six, six headroom. Very nice feature. Got your other AC unit. Yeah, so shorter, shorter full-size school bus with three AC units has got to do a pretty nice job keeping this thing cool. So anyways, let's uh, take a look outside. Front drive tire, it's a Toyo. It's got a lot of tread. As Johnny Ringo in Vegas would say, this is knee deep in tread. But I can't say it as good as him. <laughs> Jack's giving me a little pan underneath. And we got the fuel door here, lockable. You can see that steel framework around the fuel tank there they do on these buses. And we're already to the rear axle, so Jackie will give you a shot of the drive tires. And the rear axle, spring area. Drive tires are in fairly good shape. A little bit of curb, curb rash on the sidewall, but that's very typical with a bus. You know, this is the curb side that they pull up against, and so, but no, no cuts, nothing, nothing crazy. Pretty good shape. Uh, rear, one of the uh, rear AC condensers here. Now one really neat feature about this bus um, is what you can see right there, a two inch receiver hitch. Someone did a pretty sweet job of putting this in. It looks really solid. Uh, you got the five pin connector right there as well as a flat four. If you're looking to haul something really heavy, you might want to check into getting a seven pin connector for a brake controller, but uh, um, yeah, it's, it, it's pretty beefy. They, they put that hitch on there and did a good job. Um, pretty rare to have a school bus with a two inch receiver. So if you want to make a motorhome out of this, you want to tow your trailer, which is pretty popular, towing an ATV or a small boat or extra car or, or just a utility trailer, pretty popular we get asked a lot about trailer hitches so yeah the back of the bus looks very straight very clean again that fresh paint on there just it has a little bit of shine to it it's, it's nice I'm liking this bus a lot LED tail lights turn signals less amperage draw than an incandescent bulb moving on to the driver's side once again the rear another rear AC condenser and uh, oh one thing to point out Jackie uh, tin of windows that's a nice dark tin of those windows it helps keep it cool in there as well as helps for privacy as well and the driver's side drive tires again pretty decent shape definitely not new but I would say it has some life left in them. The uh, Jeff's giving you a pan underneath on the driver's side. And here. A little storage, a little side storage, as well as some fuse and relay panels in there. And 
we'll open the next next door here. That's your battery box. This has three batteries. Pretty cool. And we're already back up to the front tire again. A, a Toyo matches the, the passenger side front. Really nice tread on that. Really good shape. We have pan underneath in the front. Let's see. On the next door, uh, windshield washer, fluid, easily accessible. And your main fuse in the relay panel. Gives you a nice diagram there for easy diagnostics if you ever do end up having an issue. Don't need to go tracking those things down anywhere. Yeah, move on to the front. Uh, you have your typical uh, crossover mirrors on a school bus. LED uh, turn signals up high. Although the ones down low by the headlights are still incandescent. Uh, looks like we're just missing a little magnet or something to hold the uh, stop bar back. But again, if you're making a motorhome out of it, That'll probably come off anyways. If you are want to use it for a school purpose, we can see about fixing that for you. Anyways, uh, that's the rundown of this 08 IC uh, FE300. Uh, thanks again for watching. If you have any questions, give us a shout at 800-231-7099 or email at sales at nwbus.com. I'm Mike at Northwest Bus Sales. Thanks a lot for watching.